the truth about deities, divinity, and the shining ones. Here, we have the etymology of divine, in which we can see the word deity circled and the root word of divine being to shine. Here, we have the etymology of deity, showing its root word as dio, again, meaning to shine and connected to divine and the word God. As we move forward in this lesson, please keep the phrase to shine in mind. Here we have the root word deva, which comes from the Hindu religion, pointing out that God means to shine. This is the male expression of the word God. But the word Devi or Diva, which is a word we use in the Americas, is the equivalent to deity. And again, what we will see is that these words, at their core, means to shine. Now in ancient times, deities were always depicted shining, with a radiant light around their heads. In American culture, we call this phenomenon a halo. And prior to Christianity, the world knew what these signs meant, and they weren't applied to just anything. And this wasn't some type of symbolic expression, used to communicate that some invisible god was divine but to communicate about living beings that were incarnations of the divine, which means to be a deity in human form. And in many spiritual systems and cultures around the world, it was known that the Shining Ones existed, and this was depicted in many different ways showing the radiance of a deity, such as placing the sun or moon behind the head of a deity. And still to this day, we can see representations of this expression, such as this image of the African goddess, Oshon. In one famous ancient culture, we, the Shining Ones, were known as the Anunnaki. And although a lot of the truth has become myth, and the myth has become fantasy, there is an underlining truth that is being told. Another name for the Shining Ones is Tuatha Dee Danann, which comes from the Irish culture and is about the same exact concept. But the problem is that modern humans have misinterpreted the Shining to be beyond human experience when it is a phenomenon that has been experienced by humans, which is why the art, words, and concepts exist. And we can see this expression of a radiant halo, symbolized in the placement of a crown, Many humans have adopted our light and made it into the symbol to depict royalty. But this doesn't mean that these humans are actually shining ones, but that they have adopted something that they currently don't understand. But the crown depicts a halo and radiance, which is connected to deities. The truth of the matter is that we, the shining ones, are progenitors and divine cultivators, and in some ways, the crown does symbolize this because it's connected to divine lineages. Here, we can see this halo and a torch being carried in the depiction of the Statue of Liberty, which is the Roman goddess Libertas. And the reason that I am presenting this information is because I know myself to be a shining one, not because of feelings or thoughts, but from personal and external experiences, because my halo has been seen by others as well. But Christianity has usurped and hidden these truths. Just as Islam has, they have taken truths and made them into weapons of war, monopolizing concepts of divinity and messiahs, as well as prophets. But these concepts existed long before their reigns.